It is a controversy that has raged across North Idaho. U.S. Fish and Wildlife wants to protect the southern Kelkirk woodland caribou listed as endangered in the 1980s. But critics of the plan think it will cripple the local economy. Now a final decision has been made. KXY 4's Zanusha Roy has the changes in the plan. The critical habitat will become official tomorrow when it's published in the Federal Registry. But the plan that's going into effect is different from what was originally proposed. Perhaps one of the most striking differences is that the critical habitat now spans around 30,000 acres, when the original proposal was for 345,000 acres. Take a look at this map near the top. The blue is the new critical habitat. A majority of it is in Ponderay County in Washington. 6,000 acres is in Boundary County in Idaho. Fish and Wildlife made this change after people started asking questions about how the original border was drawn. The agency revisited their studies and concluded that they could reduce the critical habitat area and leave out areas of current unoccupied caribou habitat. Between that and protected land in Canada, they said it would be sufficient. Commissioner Mike Nielsen in Bonner County had concerns about how this designation would impact recreation activities like snowmobiling. He calls this decision favorable and reasonable. Under the modified plan, the critical habitat no longer touches Bonner County. But Commissioner Nielsen said that they are still trying to resolve snowmobiling restrictions enforced through a court-ordered injunction that's separate from the critical habitat designation. There's already an existing recovery zone that is still in effect that spans a larger area than the critical habitat. Fish and Wildlife will continue to encourage protecting old growth forest within that zone to help preserve the caribou. In North Idaho, Anusha Roy, KXLY 4 HD News.